All right, so Israel Adesanya obviously was mashing through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proven ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the X's and the O's, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him where he needs him to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime, to your point, in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, back in the octagon here tonight. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. again ready to engage in a big spot here tonight. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC right Heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan Perea! The veteran Herbert Dean, no referee for this one. Ready. All right, here we go with two of the best middleweights and best strikers on planet Earth, Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira. Adesanya was expecting that this challenge would come around, and it seems to have taken his focus to an even higher level. It's taken his focus to a higher level, but I cannot imagine he would have expected it to happen this fast. Yeah. Pereira has stormed up the middleweight rankings and finds himself now there across the octagon to a familiar fold. If there is a guy that can stand with the champion, it is Alex Pereira, and I'm excited to watch these two compete. Nice combination there. 
Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Another front kick. You know he can absorb some damage, but you don't want to eat too many of those. Push kick there to the body. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, beautiful straight right hand there from Israel Adesanya. You know, you worry so much, DC, about the kicking game. Sometimes you forget about those hands on Israel Adesanya. Oh! Huge kick to the head. The right hand just misses. At what point do you adjust and see these head kicks landing over the top? Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Fede. Oh, nice inside kick. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, how good was that flying knee? Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Front kick to the body by Pereira. Adesanya is swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Alex Pereira going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, hurt. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nice leg kick. DC will show you the replay, nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over, but the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final game? All right, round two. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether it's run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Adesanya's thigh and the outside of it really starting to bruise here. You wonder how much weight he can put on that leg moving forward. Slips the punch. Oh! Oh, gotta get back. Oh! Swing and a big miss by Adesanya. Three minutes to go in round two. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. He's got to try to finish here. Heard him again. Back to the feet now. Oh, huge left. Oh, with authority the back. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Well, you really hope that damage like this doesn't stay with him. Hopefully the beginning of the end here. Big combination. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, my goodness. Oh. He's out! Alex Pereira gets the finish. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. I mean, I have run out of superlatives when it comes to describing this. Alex Pereira gets it done by knockout tonight. This dude was 3-1 and one when he made his UFC debut. It's crazy. It's so crazy to see how far he's come in such a short period of time. Now, the result isn't surprising because that's what he does. He knocks people out. But the fact that he's continued to do this as he goes up the rankings, really impressive.